Hornets when that happened. But Jordan Poole is unhappy about being moved to the bench. Interim head coach Brian Keefe, who I'm being told is probably going to be the long-term head coach, made his first big lineup change since taking over. Keefe moved Jordan Poole to the bench. Poole had been starting all 52 games he had played this season. And obviously, when asked about the lineup change, Jordan Poole, let it be known. He's really not happy with it. Quote, if there's any common sense with the situation, you should know how I feel. But I'm just going to come out, do what I can do to help the team, keep it moving. I mean, if this is a way to try to get me on ball, I guess that's just what we have to do. End quote, Poole, Poole said. Which I love how you're just thinking about is he, if he's going to get on ball again. Which, I mean, look, Jordan Poole, it's not been great. Jordan Poole this past season, if you guys want to know the exact stats that he has put up, I can read them to you right now. Jordan Poole this season is putting up stats of 15.7 points, 2.5 rebounds, 3.6 assists, a steal a night, on 39.6% from the field. On 30.4% from three. Now somebody's going to say, well, what's his effective field goal percentage? 46.6%. What's his true shooting? Oh, you want to know his true shooting? Oh, uh, here you go. Here you go. His true shooting right here for the season is 50.9, which is the worst since his rookie year where he shot 40.4. 45.4. Which, again, crazy to think because right now the league... If you just look at the league average field goal, effective field goal percentage, it's 54%. League average true shooting this season is 58, which is absurd to think about. Because a few years ago, league average true shooting was 55, but it's looking like 58 is this season. I, I've always just told 55 or better. Same thing with like player efficiency rating. It's always if it's over 15, it's better for like PER. And then just like little tidbits right there. If you guys didn't know, now you know. Yeah, but for me, yeah, I've always thought this was kind of cool how it all played out. And I thought this was a team that was going to benefit from having Jordan Poole on their squad because he's going to be flippable because he was going to look better. I was a bit overzealous. I wasn't going to sit here and be like, oh, he's going to be amazing. I just thought it could be similar to how Eric Gordon was for those... Pelicans Hornets teams from a few years ago. That was my whole thing, but obviously that's not happening. And it's definitely interesting to see how this is all played out because he has kind of looked abysmal. And I don't know how we're going to get off that contract and if we ever are. But if we were, I'm curious to see what we would do. But I mean, I just think it's we kind of put ourselves in this position. I think it started. I, I just think it might be an accountability thing. I mean, he. He literally said that, oh, if I'm moving to the bench and it's a way to, to keep getting the ball in my hand, then I'm cool with it, basically. As long as the ball is in my hand, I'm Jordan Poole, and I approve this message is what it seems like he was telling people. But I don't know. I definitely think it's a different one that we are not typically used to, and I think that's why, in a way, we are looking at this differently than how we have in the past because we haven't really seen a team tank like they did since the thunder i feel like the thunder did it way better but yeah that's my two cents on jordan pool uh, and the whole i guess you would say thing that's he's good dealing with but yeah i, I really i'm not a fan